Okay? If we pay attention in Salvador Allende's ideas, we're pretty nice ones, but very utopic. You know? Some of them, if you want to see some ideas, were very kind of uh, interesting to have public education, public health. And one of the biggest and the most controversial for you was nationalized copper. Those days, uh, the copper belonged mainly to United States companies like Anna Condor Copper Company, Copper Steel Company. So the idea of Salvador Allende is to take all that to the Chilean hands. And he did it in 1972. All the copper mines, which is the salary of Chile, 51% of the stocks came into hands of the government. Okay? So, of course, your government was not very happy about it. And especially uh, your president Nixon was kind of very, uh, how to say, we can say, nervous about it. And he came with a lot of pressure and to try not to approve the this meant uh, uh, government. But not everything was fresh. He made a lot of mistakes too. He was a doctor, he was a swimming champion of Chile. Uh, he has three daughters. One of their daughters is named Isabel Allende, but it's not the writer. That is one myth that we're going to kill you. The writer is the niece, her, his niece, which is named Isabel Allende too. His daughter, nowadays, she works, she works in the Congress, and it's, her name is Isabel Allende, too. Okay? Now, when, the, when this guy came into power, he made a lot of mistakes. For example, he put wrong people in the government, wrong people charged, I mean, the, in the economy minister, he put a countryside man. You know, and uh, a lot of people start to feel uncomfortable because we, of course, we receive economical blocks from the north. You know what I mean? So the economy start to similar like that bike today. Yeah. 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 You know, but it was so bad that in 1972 the inflation rate in this country was nearly 1,000 percent, which we're not used to. That my mom used to tell me that my uncles. They used to line up 